what foam is supposed to look like. Here I have uh, samples of uh, foam concentrate. I have a uh, wetting agent. I have class A foam concentrate and uh, national foam knockdown. I have a regular 3% mil spec AFFF firefighting foam such as you would find in a crash truck. I have uh, alcohol resistant 3.6 foam. In this case it's about a 20 year old sample and it's perfectly good. Now this shelf life business is a bit of a myth. Now here's the latest 1%, 3% alcohol resistant foam and uh, over here I have a uh, contaminated sample. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And down here in the front I have some uh, green food dye mixed in with some ethanol and we'll talk about that in a minute also. But here's the uh, viscosity. Uh, that's what you can expect in terms of how thick the material is. Uh, here's Class A foam concentrate. That's what you can expect there. Here's AFFF concentrate. That's what you can expect from it if you're a mechanic and you're draining it out of a tank. And that's what regular AFFF should look like. Some of these materials may get slightly thicker at low temperatures, uh, particularly the Class A's will get very syrupy, like below 40 degrees. Uh, here's alcohol resistant foam 3.6. I can also lift this up with a turkey baster or a, uh, a medication syringe. And as soon as I put a little bit of energy on it, squeezing the bulb, uh, it discharges fairly quickly. Uh, here's the thickest material, alcohol resistant 1 by 3 universal gold. And uh, just to prove to the naysayers that it's not too thick to proportion with a foam adductor. If I can lift it up with a turkey baster, or in this case a, uh, a medication syringe, I'm good to go with a foam adductor. Uh, these materials here, the alcohol resistant materials, might not gravity feed so well in some of the class A systems that do double duty, but certainly uh, they're designed to operate in all foam systems to include foam adductors. Uh, the sample that I have here is a sample of uh, uh, Class A foam. This is a Class A foam tank for all intent and purposes and somebody accidentally put alcohol resistant foam in there. Uh, the thick uh, material that's floating in there is the polymer or the sugar material that's in alcohol resistant foam and that's what makes the alcohol resistant foam so thick and gooey and uh, is the sugar or xanthan that we add to it. Uh, so that is system fatal. Uh, that contaminated material. Uh, once that gets down into your foam system plumbing, uh, you're pretty much dead in the water.